Hi, I'm Hambit, and I'm a pastry chef from Korea. Hi, everybody. It's Hambit here. 안녕하세요, 조한빛입니다. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the strawberry shortcake. And this is a Korean-style strawberry shortcake, which is extremely light, airy, and moist. Trust me, you'll love it. I'll first go over the structure. First of all, you need to make the genoise. I'm going to use three layers of genoise, and each of them would have one and a half centimeter thickness. I'm going to apply the genoise sheets with syrup and strawberry confit. Next is the insert cream and fresh strawberries. Once you're done with layering the cake, you'll ice the outside with the icing cream. And finally, you'll decorate it with some piping cream and strawberries. I haven't included clips on how to make genoise in this tutorial because I felt that it would become too long. Please refer to my previous upload on how to make genoise. Right, strawberry confit. Think of strawberry jam, which is quite thick, and strawberry sauce, which is quite runny. So this strawberry confit is somewhere between those two. And why do I use it? A, because this is a strawberry shortcake. You want to reinforce the strawberry flavor. Without the strawberry confit, the only thing that makes the strawberry shortcake strawberry is the fresh strawberries. And personally, I don't think that's enough. You want something else to kind of reinforce the overall strawberry flavor. And the reason why I'm using strawberry confit rather than strawberry jam is because of the sweetness. So by using strawberry confit, which is a less water-reduced version of the strawberry jam, you'll be able to balance the overall sweetness level of this cake. So here I have strawberry puree. For the strawberry confit I'm making today, I just prefer using store-bought strawberry puree because it's more convenient. And also, the strawberry puree tastes exactly the same every time I buy it. Sugar, pectin, and lemon juice. What pectin does is it's a gelling agent. It's a thickener. So actually, it's a key ingredient in the strawberry confit. Before I start, I'm going to pre-mix the pectin and the sugar. Pectin has a tendency to clump when it goes inside a puree or some sort of liquid. So what you do is you mix it together with the sugar. So pre-mix it, then add that. That way, it's less likely for the pectin to create lumps. Strawberry puree. I'm just going to heat the puree so that it's warm, somewhere around 40 degrees Celsius. And then add in the sugar and pectin. Great, it's around 40 degrees Celsius, so sugar and pectin mixture goes in. Once it starts boiling, just boil it or reduce it for another minute or so, and then add in the lemon juice, turn the heat off, and you'll be done. started boiling, so I'm going to boil it or reduce it for about another minute. Okay, so that's been about a minute, so lemon juice goes in. Just mix it well and turn off the heat. You're done. So what I'm going to do now is let this cool completely, put it in the fridge, keep it there, and use it when I need it. I'll talk a bit about the whipped cream. In the shortcake that you're making today, you're going to have both the insert cream and the icing cream. The recipes for both are identical. However, the difference is the thickness or the consistency. The insert cream is much thicker and harder than the icing cream. The icing cream needs to be smooth because you want your cake to look smooth and nice. So just bear in mind that you're going to use two sets of whipped cream today. Now, it's time to whip some heavy cream that I'm going to use to ice the cake. Whipping heavy cream is actually more difficult than you think because you need to get the right consistency or the texture or else your finished cake won't look nice and it won't taste nice. Before I go over the ingredients, I want to mention that your heavy cream needs to be chilled at all times. If it gets warm, it simply won't get whipped. It needs to be chilled. If you're working in a relatively hot environment, then use an ice water bath. So simply take the bowl with the heavy cream and put it inside an ice water bath while you whip it. Heavy cream, sugar, mascarpone cheese, and Cointreau. Mascarpone cheese gives depth to the overall flavor, and also it gives some sort of a character. If you don't have mascarpone cheese, you can leave it out. Regarding the Cointreau, it's an orange flavored liquor. If you don't have it or you can't get hold of it, you can leave it out, it's fine. Now here, I've got two identical sets of the heavy cream recipe. They're identical. And the reason why I've prepared two different sets here is because the icing cream and the insert cream require two different consistencies. The insert cream, which goes inside the cake, needs to be whipped further. It needs to be thicker. 
because it needs to withstand the weight of the whole cake. On the other hand, the icing cream is what goes outside the cake. So you want it to be smooth as possible, which means you're going to whip it less than what you would do for the instant cream. If you feel that preparing two identical sets is a bit cumbersome, then there's a faster way. What a lot of pastry chefs do is combine these two. So simply measure out the combined set of the whipped cream recipe. Take a big bowl, put heavy cream in there, followed by sugar, mascarpone cheese, and the Cointreau. So you'll need a bigger bowl because you're combining all this in one, and you're going to whip it about halfway and then weigh half of it out. Of course, then you need to whip both of them to the right consistencies. This way you can definitely save some dishwashing. But in today's tutorial, I'm just going to whip them separately so that it's less confusing and I can show you everything from beginning till end. Right, let's start. I'm first going to whip the icing cream. Sugar goes in, the mascarpone cheese, Cointreau, the orange liquor. I start with low speed simply to mix everything together and then bring it up to high speed. Look out for the ripples. The ripples are a sign that your cream is thickening. Remember, this is the icing cream that goes outside the cake, so it has to be smooth. In terms of the thickness, I'm going to draw a J and see if it forms a peak. It does form a peak. So that's the kind of peak that I'm looking for. So I'm done with the icing cream. I'm going to leave this in the fridge because it needs to be chilled and I'm going to work on the insert cream. The insert cream that I'm whipping now needs to be thicker and needs to be stronger than the icing cream that I've whipped just now. And this is the consistency that I'm looking for for an insert cream. That kind of consistency. You can definitely see the difference between the thickness of the insert cream and the icing cream. Now, how about the piping cream? It's actually quite simple. You don't have to whip another set to make this piping cream. Simply use your icing cream. So my suggestion is that if you're using a design that uses piping cream, then just whip a bit more of the icing cream. Here are the sheets of genoise that I've made earlier. I need to apply the syrup as well as the confit, and then I'll be able to start assembling the cake. The purpose of applying the sugar syrup is to keep this cake moist. This strawberry shortcake is meant to be soft and moist. When you're applying the syrup to the genoise, don't brush it because if you brush it, you'll be brushing crumbs with it. So simply just tap tap. I'm going to apply the strawberry confit to two of the layers and the two bottom layers. I usually don't apply the strawberry confit to the top layer because if you do, when you ice it, you might be able to see through it. It's just like spreading jam on toast. And a tip here is that I usually leave out the edge about, let's say, half a centimeter or so, so that it makes it easier when you ice it. There's a chance that you might actually scrape the strawberry confit while you ice it, and it becomes really messy. Perfect, now I'm ready to assemble my cake. Right, now I'm ready to start the assembly. But before I start, there are a few things I want to talk to you about. Here's the cream that we whipped earlier. Now this is the insert cream. We're going to use the insert cream first to insert it inside the layers, and then we're going to work on icing the cake using the icing cream. The property of heavy cream is such that if you leave it after whipping it, it will loosen up a bit. So when you're about to use your insert cream or your icing cream, just check the consistency. If it's loosened up quite a bit, then whip it back again. You have to make sure at this stage that the sheet is at the center of the turntable. It's crucial that it's at the center. I'm going to spread out a quarter of the insert cream that I have. Place the strawberries and place another quarter of the cream on top of that. Just spread it out thin. In terms of the thickness of your sliced strawberries, I think half a centimeter works best. Place plenty of strawberries. That's what makes the strawberry shortcake taste so good. Now place another quarter of the cream. I know I'm using a quarter every single time, but you need to save up just a bit of whipped cream to use at the very end. You'll soon see where to use it. Sunflower. 
Great, now place the next layer. Repeat the same. Perfect, so my final layer will go on top. And now, it's all about smoothing the side. If you think of this cake as a clock, from my point of view, it's 12, 3, 6, and 9. So what I'm going to do is, when I'm smoothing the side, I'm going to make sure that my spatula is upright at 9 o'clock. Remember the excess cream that I told you to save up? I'm going to use it to fill the gaps here. So for example, gaps like these. Perfect, now I'm ready to ice the cake, the outer layer. Here's the icing cream that we prepared earlier. I actually re-whipped it slightly because I noticed that it had loosened up a bit. Also, I've taken a small portion out and reserved it so that I can use it for piping cream later. The order that I'm going to work in is I'm going to ice the top, then work the side, and then work the top again. I'm going to start by placing half or a bit more than a half of the icing cream on top of my cake. Just like spreading jam on toast. Keep your pallet knife still and simply turn the turntable. I think the side looks good, now it's time to work the top. And to do that, you're going to take the pallet knife and scrape the cream towards the center. Great, I think that looks good enough. I'm going to finish it off with decorations on top. So you have the Genoise, strawberry confit, fresh strawberries, and whipped cream, all in one. That's so good. The Genoise is extremely moist and it simply melts in your mouth together with the whipped cream. Plus the overall strawberry flavor is enforced by the strawberry confit. It's fantastic. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video on how to make a strawberry shortcake. It's absolutely delicious and I love the overall texture. And I think it's one of the best ways to use fresh strawberries. Well, please try it and enjoy it. I'll come back next time with another amazing recipe. Thank you very much. Kamsamida.